Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to convert AI to PSD with all layer and text editability. Let's begin. Now, the first thing you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in Adobe, click on the create an account option. And from here, you can use your Google, your Facebook, your Apple. You can even use your Microsoft account. And by following the on-screen instructions, you're good to go. Now, converting Adobe Illustrator AI files to Adobe Photoshop, which is a PSD format, while preserving all layers and text editability can be beneficial for a lot of reasons. Because I do that a lot. And by converting to that platform with editable layers and text, I can have a greater flexibility in editing my artwork because Photoshop offers a more robust set of editing tools for um, rasterized based images, allowing me to apply complex effects, adjustments and filters to individual filters, right? And not only that, Photoshop provides extensive features for image manipulation, compositing and retouching that may not be available in Illustrator. And obviously, converting AI files to PSD allows you or me to leverage these advanced features seamlessly. So how do we do with that? All right, first off, you need to... Okay, so once I'm here, all I have to do is click on the object, right? Hover down to Clipping Mask and click on Release. Now, the shortcut is alt Control plus 7 right? Now, as you can see, it's been released and all I have to do... This is a very important step, all right? Go to File and Save As. Okay? Okay, so go to File, Save As. And the option that we are going to use is not AI, but... Now, as you can see, there's no option for you to save it as PSD, right? There's only Illustrator, PDF, SVG, and a lot more. So that's not what we're going to do. But instead, go to File and click on export and export as okay now here you will be having an option to click on the photoshop or the psd file format now when you click on it you will be given more options you can have the color mode as rgb or grayscale from resolution of medium to screen to high when you click on others it would give you more information such as the uh, PPI, you can um, bump the numbers or values into a lot to do the maximum. You can have an option to the flat image, right layers. As you can see, the uh, option for preserved text editability and maximum editability is clicked on, all right? You also have an option too for the anti-aliasing, right? It's all up to you. You're going to click OK. Basically, that's how you convert layers and text editability from AI to PSD. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video.